Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to tell you about recovering MySQL, MSQL and Oracle databases, how to backup such databases, which software to use for this purpose and how to restore the databases from such backups. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Creating a backup copy and restoring MySQL databases with MySQL Workbench. The utility MySQL Workbench has functions of export and import data restore for databases. To create a backup copy in the program, click Data Export, choose the necessary database, then select the folder where to export the database, click Start Export below and wait until it is completed. The file containing a backup copy will appear in the specified folder. To restore from backup, click Data Import Restore, specify the path to the previously created dump, check the necessary database and click Start Import, and restore operation will be completed soon. <coughs> Restoring a database manually It is possible to recover information from a MySQL database table by putting the previously copied structure files and data files into the folders of already existing bases. In our case, these are two bases, MyDB and MyDB2. It is possible if you have created backup copies of the files which are located by default in the folder C Program Data MySQL MySQL Server Data. Here, copy the folder containing structure files and data files with the names corresponding to the name of your database. Bring them to another location. For recovery, you'll just have to copy them back. Now, if for some reason you, have, you deleted a MySQL database, reinstalled Windows or formatted the hard disk, the database can be restored by using the method described above. If these files were deleted too, I'll show you later in this video how to restore them. Creating a backup copy and restoring MySQL databases with MySQL down. To create a backup copy, start the command prompt. To do it, enter a CMD in the search field, right-click on the command prompt shortcut and select Run as administrator. In the command prompt, go to the folder containing MySQL bin. By default, it can be found in C Program Files MySQL MySQL Server bin. Now, to create a backup copy, enter the command MySQL dump space hyphen username, in my case it's admin, then space hyphen password space and the database name, in my case it's mydb greater than symbol, then the name of the backup database, it can be any convenient name, so I'll use mydb dump sql. Press enter and in the set bin folder, a database backup file will appear. To restore a database, use the command prompt to follow the path to the database backup file and enter the same command mysql dump uadmin pwt mydb less than symbol mydb dump sql, but change the direction where the arrow is pointing right here. U, the value that shows the login which we use in, the key, in this case to connect to the database. P, the value that shows the password for the user of this login. MyDB, the name of the database, a backup copy of which we need to create. My, MyDB dump SQL, the name of the backup file we have created before. To save a database backup copy to another folder, you should specify the path to such folder before the name of the database backup file. In this case, the commands for creating and restoring a database backup will look like this. Recovering damaged MySQL database tables with the help of MySAM check. MySAM tables can be damaged uh, as a result of a sudden interruption of a record process or a computer shutdown, hardware and software errors and failures, and also when trying to debug the table used by the server with the help of MySAM check. As a result of the damage, data can disappear from the table or be wrongly represented, but most often damage to the table results in an error like this. To recover damaged tables, you can use the command mysum check. To run it, use the command prompt to go to the folder bin. By default, it can be found in C Program Files MySQL MySQL Server bin. 
Then enter the command and give the path to its location. MySum check R Q new table MySum C program data MySQL MySQL server data MyDB2 new table MySum and press enter. Where R Q is the quick recovery mode. In this case, the index file will be corrected without changing the database file. If the data file contains all necessary things and the remote links indicate correct positions in the data file, as a result of this command, the table will be repaired. If the previous command brings no result, then create a backup data file and run this command. My sound check R table name. Where R is just the recovery mode. In this case, incorrect and lost entries will be deleted from the data file and the index file will be recreated as described above. To avoid the trouble of typing the path to the folder containing the file, you should add the path to the folder with mysumcheck.exe to Windows environment variables. To do it, right-click on this PC, select Properties, go to Advanced System Settings and find Environment Variables in the tab Advanced. In the window that opens, find Path in System Variables, select it and click Edit, then New, browse and specify the path to the folder, or just copy and paste and then click OK. Now you don't have to type the path in the command, but just run the command check in the directory containing the table. Recovering a Microsoft SQL Server Database Now let's talk about recovering a Microsoft SQL Server Database. There are several ways to do it. The use of every method depends on what your goal is. Performing scheduled backup of a database or restoring from a backup when transferring a database to another computer or recovering data from a database as a result of its deleting a loss. You can create a database copy for further restoration both with the built-in tools of Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio or manually. How to create a copy? In order to create a backup copy of a database, right-click on the folder with its name and select Tasks Backup and then OK. The backup has been successfully created. The backup copy is by default located in the folder C Program Files Microsoft SQL Server MSSQL14 SQL Express MSSQL Backup, a file with the extension BAK. In order to restore a backup copy of a database, right-click on the folder with its name and select Tasks Restore. Check the device, then specify the path to the backup file, click OK, and soon the data is recovered successfully. Creating a backup file manually Creating and restoring a database from a manually created copy is a quicker process than creating and unpacking a backup copy, but it is less reliable. In addition, if you copy database files manually without stopping a database or during a transaction, such files will be saved in an unaccorded form, which will result in errors when you try to use such files to restore the system. That's why before creating a backup file copy manually, the SQL server should be stopped, and only then you can copy the files which are by default stored in the folder. C Program Files, Microsoft SQL Server, MSSQL14, SQL Express, and SQL Data. To stop an SQL Server, you should start SQL Server Configuration Manager, which you can find in the Start menu. After that, select SQL Server Services and right click on the database you need to stop and select Stop. You can start a database in a similar way by selecting Start from the menu. Creating a backup copy of Oracle Database Express Edition To create a backup, open Oracle Application Express and select the menu Application Builder Export. Specify the export type, the entire workspace or one of its components. Set the file format to export the data into and click on Export Workspace. After that, an SQL file containing a backup copy will appear in the downloads. You can import a file here as well. Select the menu Application Builder – Import. Select the file to import, specify its type, then click Next. The file has been imported. Such archiving can be done with the operating system tools by manually copying all working files of the database from the database folder, which is located by default in C, Oracle Exe, App, Oracle, or a Data, XE, 
and archiving is performed with a stop database and users cannot work with it while it is being archived. To restore a database damaged because of a failure, it should be stopped, and backup copies of working files and transaction logs should be written to their previous location. Recovering tables with Hetman Partition Recovery All databases deleted from a computer can be recovered with Hetman Partition Recovery and then be sent to the necessary folder. I'll show you how to recover files with the example of a MySQL database. Start the program. Click on the disk where, where the MySQL database was stored. The recovery wizard will start. Choose the Analysis type and click Next. When the process is over, click Finish. Using the program, go to the folder C Program Data MySQL MySQL Server Data or find the necessary database files with the search function. Enter the file name, but be careful. Files containing data will have the same name as the tables, not as the databases. Now recover database files. To do it, select them, right-click and choose Recovery. Specify the location where you want to recover them and click Next. Choose the path if necessary and click Recovery. Ready? The files have been recovered, now bring them to the folder with the name of the database. When you start MySQL Workbench after that, the restored table files that you have put into the database folder will be accessible. In the same way, you can restore lost MSQL bases, which are located by default in C Program Files, Microsoft SQL Server, MSS QL14, SQL Express, MSS QL Backup, a file with the extension BAK. After that, attach the recovered data files to the SQL Server database with a function attach. To do it, open Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, right-click on Databases and select Attach, then Add, specify the path to the, to the recovered MDF file, check it, click OK twice. In the same way, you can use Hetman Partition Recovery to restore Oracle database files, which are located by default in C, Oracle Exe, App, Oracle, or Data XE, and after that, just copy them to this folder. That is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching. Good luck!